sitting with Maria Dragush, who is here with her film Kill Me. Yeah, the movie is about a girl who uh, lives with her parents in a little on a little farm in Germany, and um, after her brother's death, she um, commits suicide. So she wants to die, but she can't kill herself actually. And she meets a murderer who escaped from prison, and they make a deal. So she says, "If you're killing me, I'll help you to flee." Is there one thing that when you go to the theater and you're sitting with everybody that you hope the audience takes away from the film? Um, I hope that they get a feeling of um, life is really just a gift and that um, everybody really should be thankful for it. And I mean, this is really a very young girl, she's only 15 in the movie, so um, I, I really hope that the young audience especially is gonna um, take away from it that it's it's not, you know, when you're considering you want to die, there is more to come. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, life isn't ending at 15. I'm sitting with Chad Jukes, subject of the documentary High Ground, which is screening this year at SIF. For people that haven't seen it yet, why don't you give them a brief overview of what High Ground is about? Basically, it's a film about 11 disabled veterans uh, with injuries ranging from amputation, loss of vision, to traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress, um, traveling to Nepal and climbing a 20,000 foot peak called Lewishe. The greatest hope is that these people that have been broken and beaten and blown up and shattered have the capacity to continue putting one foot in front of the other and they don't need to stop. Do you want to describe your injury and how it affected your climb? Um, yes, I actually um, have my right leg amputated below the knee as a result of injuries sustained in combat serving in Iraq in 2006. Climbing is astoundingly therapeutic. I think, well, anything in the outdoors, um, rafting, surfing, skiing, so many different outdoor, acti act outdoor activities can be a very therapeutic. Um, I feel, especially with climbing, that it's almost like, a, it can be almost like a deep form of meditation. You're up there, your life is in your own hands, and you no longer have time to think about problems that you may have. I hope that A, it brings some awareness to veteran issues, of course, and B, I really hope that people look at this and think, Man, that guy Chad, he's got one leg. He climbed a 20,000 foot mountain. Well, Talk about awe I don't have to <laughs> climb a 20,000 foot mountain, but maybe I should get out and walk around the block, ride a Absolutely. bike, you know, walk the dog, go on a hike. I'm sitting with Julia Ivanova, the director for A Family Portrait in Black and White, screening this year at SIF. So for people that have not seen it yet, do you want to give a little brief synopsis about what the movie is about? I will be delighted. <laughs> uh, this is a film about the most unusual family in Eastern Europe. And the family consists of one foster mother mm -hmm. and 17 mixed race teenagers. And oh she gosh. took them in when they were one or two or three years old and she has been raising them. And the woman is very complex. Mm -hmm. She is not Mother Teresa mm -hmm. and she is an authoritarian, loving person. Mm -hmm. So it's a complex film. Where did the concept come from? Mm. Uh, well, for a long time I wanted to make a film about uh, mixed race citizens of Eastern Europe because they existed, but there was not, never a film about them or something about them. No dialogue. So, yes, they existed. And the unfortunate circumstances for them was that uh, most of them didn't have fathers because their fathers were students from Africa and they would have relations on one night stand mm -hmm. with a local girl. Then a child is born and in very rare cases, a single mother would keep the child. But if she keeps this child, for the rest of her life, she will get the looks. Oh like, gosh, she's ruined basically. She, yes. Oh. Um, and so that's why many kids ended up in the orphanage. For me, this film, most of all, is about what it means to be an orphan. Mm -hmm. So I tried to put everything related to orphanhood. Mm -hmm. And second thing is, of course, the mother. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we all remember either being parents or who our parents are. 